You probably already noticed that when it comes to print previewing our worksheet here before we actually print it, you know what you see in the print preview screen is what you get when you print it off. That as far as the column labels go or the titles, the only print on the first page, for example, let me come up here, click on the file tab, go down to our print to see our print preview. There are the titles or the column labels. They print on page one, but when I go to page two, three, four, or more, it's not repeating the title here, which can be confusing because when I print it off and hand it to a bunch of coworkers, unless they have page one to reference the titles of each column, well, they'll have to flip back and forth, and that can be annoying as well to go and see which column is the social security, which one is the first name, last name. In any case, if I want to go ahead and repeat those titles that I have on page one on the next consecutive pages that are to be printed, just come up here, click on the page layout tab, go to the page setup group, and there's print titles. You can either click on that, it takes us to the page setup window, to the sheet tab, and here we can go ahead and say that we want these rows that we select to repeat at the top of each page. But before we do that, there's more than one way to get to the screen. Let me close out. There's the expandable dialog box for the group. Still brings up the page setup window, but on the different tab, you can go back and click on the sheet tab. Let me close out. If you try to do it from the uh, file to print, print preview, in other words, down below on page setup, that link, go to the sheet tab, it's not going to work. In print preview, it won't allow you to make that selection of rows that you want to repeat at the top of each page. Let me close out. Well, also, if you click on custom margins and go down to custom margins, it brings up the page setup. Again, when you go to the sheet tab, it's shaded and you won't be able to do that in print preview. So you have to step outside of print preview, go to the page layout tab, click on print titles, and it says, okay, what rows do you want to repeat at the top? Go ahead and click on its collapsible dialog box button. And notice that my uh, white cross turns into a black arrow pointing to the right. So it's looking row by row instead of an arrow pointing down. Because again, here's the row that I want to repeat at the top of the page. Just go ahead and find your row. Click anywhere in it. Puts the marching ants so they're circling the whole row, row 4. And then all I have to do is to expand this is to either click on it, the expandable button, or hit the enter key on the keyboard. Pops it open. That's it. From here, I can go ahead and click OK and then go to File to Print to uh, Preview or just click Print Preview right there. There's page one. Let's go to page two. Hey, we got the titles to print at the top of each page or continue on page two. And then if we had more, three, four, it would print the titles at the top of each page. Let me go ahead and click on the Home tab. And I'm going to close out of this workbook and not save it. I have the same workbook here, but I expanded the columns because what I wanted to show you here is that when I can't fit all of the data within a standard portrait page orientation, as we just covered in an earlier training video, you know your standard 8.5 by 11, where the width is 8.5. In any case, when I go to Print Preview, because these columns are so wide, it's only going to print these columns here and cut off these last two columns there, rate and gross. So for example, when I come up, click on File, go down and Print, go to the Print Preview, the rate and gross columns are cut off, okay? So let me go ahead down at the bottom and go to the next couple of pages, and there they are. Now the problem with this is, is that when rate and gross is cut off, I don't know which employees belong to which rate and gross. I mean, I could go back to page one, right? And go, let's see, the second employee's name is Bob Appleman. Let me go back to page three. The second record for the rate and gross column that should be Bob Appleman. I mean, that's too annoying. What I can do instead is I can go ahead and instead of repeating rows at the top, again, the titles, I can repeat the columns or the names next to each uh, record here. Let's go back up to our page layout tab. And before we go to our print titles, these are the two columns here that when these two columns get cut off, I want these first two columns to still be next to these two columns here. So I can say, oh, Bob Appleman on page three or four of my printout, this is their rate and gross, okay? Now, I know you can go ahead and change the page orientation as we just did in a previous training video from, well, up here from orientation of portrait to landscape to include all of the columns. But for the sake of this training video, so I can go ahead and say, hey, not only can you print the titles by row at the top of each page, but you can also print them by columns. So to come up here in the page setup group on the page layout, click on print titles, come down here, there's the rows to repeat at the top of each page. How about the columns to repeat at the left of each page? Go ahead and click the collapsible dialog box button, and instead of an arrow pointing to the right, now it's pointing down. So what columns do I want to repeat on each page if the data gets cut off or separated, like the two columns rate and gross? So I want the names. Click in the first column. Now when I click on it, it selects the whole database. Why? 
because up here I've got cells that are merged. In other words, when it comes to repeating columns or rows, if you have any cells either to the right or up at the top in this case by column that are merged, it won't select the column that will select the whole database or, or as far out as these merged cells are. So I have to hit the escape key to pop that open and then click cancel and get rid of these merged cells. So to unmerge a cell, I can go ahead and select it, come back up here on the Home tab, click on the Merge button to undo that, and it unmerges all these cells and it puts the uh, title back over into uh, cell A1. I also have the payroll that's merged. Let's go ahead and unmerge that to the page layout, and then come back up here, click on Print Titles. Let's go to Columns to repeat at the left. Again, which columns? Click and drag. Go ahead and hit Enter on the keyboard. It pops the window back open. And then let's do a print preview. Okay, we have our normal printout here, right? Let's go to page two. It continues to spill over, but remember the last two columns it can't squeeze um, on the first two pages, so it dumps over onto page two and the page three. And we said that these columns we wanted to repeat on additional pages that the other two columns were cut off. So we have Max Klinger, there we go, we have Rate and Gross. So either way, we're not losing our data. In other words, we're not losing the meaning of it.